welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I really hope you enjoy your first video and you're here for a good one because today's video is gonna be a really highly requested video, which is gonna be my home tour. So I moved into my new build apartment around a year ago today. It was the 13th of July, 2018. So I've had my property just over a year. So it's gone from an absolutely blank canvas to a fully furnished home over that year period. And I really wanted to share it with you guys. So in terms of the theme I've gone for, it very much started as white, pink, and gray. When I first got my property, that was the thing that was starting to be really on trend and I absolutely loved it. So that's what I started doing. And then more recently, I've incorporated a couple of other different pieces into my home, which I'm going to share with you today and you will see. So I'm really excited to share it with you. I hope you enjoy. Also, if you're interested, my property is built by Red Row Developers, just in case you're interested. <laughs> so anyway, let's crack on and get into the video. when you first walk into my flat you walk up these steps here and then this is my door so I still actually have my Christmas decoration which was actually there last year I don't know if you guys remember and then here's my little mat which is from B&M it was about five pounds then over here you also have some prints these were just there when I bought the property so let's go in show you my humble abode so when you first walk in this is what it's looking like here we have my utility cupboard and then on this side we have another cupboard then we have my hallway here which does have a load of shoes down there and we have my bedroom there we have my bathroom here and then we walk into here and this is my living space and also my kitchen. So we're going to proper detail on everything in a second, but I really wanted to share with you guys my latest addition, the main reason why I wanted to do this video, which is because I have some gorgeous new prints in my living space and my bathroom and my hallway, which I'm absolutely dying to share with you. So these are the ones first off in my living room, probably my favorite prints that I picked out. And these are from the brand Desenio. So this little part of the video is actually in collaboration with Desenio. I'm so grateful to be working with them because it's a brand that I have loved and I'm just, you know, super, super thankful to be working with a brand like Desenio. So here are the three prints which I picked for my living space. And prior to having these, I had three prints up. They were actually white. So I just feel like these add something so much more to the room, as you can see, because they're black. I've got a black TV. I've got a little bit of black going on here with my microwave and with my hob and all of that. So I just thought, I don't know, I just thought it tied nicely into the room. You'll probably laugh at me saying I've got a bit of black with the TV. TV, but you know what I mean the colors work in my opinion so yeah here's the first three that I went for absolutely obsessed with these really really pretty they're very muted colors and then obviously the black frame then the prints that I picked for my hallway are these two gorgeous prints so I went for a similar sort of vibe with the pink flowers so this one says do it with love and I just feel like this print is so relevant to me and my life and kind of where I'm at right now and just kind of if you're doing something make sure you love what you're doing otherwise why are you doing it basically so I thought how perfect to have this in my hallway because every single day when I leave for work I can look at this and just remind myself make sure you're doing everything with love so I just really really love these two prints here if you are interested in any of these prints guys I have got a discount code which is only valid for a couple of days I'll put the details on the screen here now for you and also if you click the description link down below that will have all the details for you too which will probably be easier than pausing this video so yeah if you are going to shop on Desenio then make sure to use my discount code to get some dollar dollar bills off <laughs> and then I actually picked some for my bathroom as well my bathroom has been a space which has been quite boring ever since I got the place so I really wanted to add some colour to it. So I went for three prints. So I went for a lovely silver frame because I thought that tied in really nicely with the bathroom, you know, the towel rail, with the mirror, with the little edges on my tiles, that sort of thing. So yes, here are the three prints that I went for. So the first one says, you don't always need a plan, but sometimes you just need to breathe, trust, let go and see what happens. And again, I feel like this is so relevant to me and where I'm at right now in my life because... I do just feel like sometimes I need to just see what happens and go with the flow. I can be a bit too organized, a bit too planned and get a bit too disheartened when things don't go exactly as I planned. So I just feel like this is a perfect print to kind of remind me every time I'm having a bath or having a shower, just calm down, relax. And I thought it was a really nice print to have in the bathroom, a nice chilled environment. And then the second one I went for is this one here, which is a gorgeous palm tree on a lovely pink background. And I love the shadow. It just makes me feel really calm and chilled and relaxed. And I just really like it. I just thought it tied in really nicely with my bathroom because I've got some nice pink accessories which we'll go into in a little bit more detail later and then the last one I picked was this just beautiful plant I'm not sure what plant this is but 
I just thought it looked really nice with the other two really. So yeah, there's my three little prints in the bathroom. Now what I'm gonna do is take you through my whole house and show you everything in detail and tell you where things are from as well. But I just thought I'd show you the prints first off so you can kind of see the latest additions because I'm very proud of them. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the most boring part of the house, which is the cupboards. Now this one is an absolute dumping ground, so we're just gonna absolutely ignore that one. This one really isn't much better. I've got this lovely little heart from the range on here, which is actually a Christmas decoration, but I just like keeping it there. Now in here, the rest of my house is not as bad as this. This is just my cupboard for my washing down there, my towels, my kitchen cloths, spare bedding, my washer dryer, and then just all my miscellaneous bits here, like backups of things, cleaning products, and all of that. So this cupboard does need a bit of a clean. You might recognize that table. It's actually the lac table from Ikea, five pounds. It just worked really well as a little storage unit. Now this cupboard would be perfect with shelves, but I just haven't got around to doing it. And I don't know how long I'll stay here, so I'm kind of not investing into revamping it just yet because I'm not sure how long I'll be here. So here's my little hallway space. I do apologize for the shoes down there but it's real life. This is what we're working with. So down here I just have a little notepad, a little candle and then a vase. I just kind of like the pink tones and then on here we have some wax melts, a little wax melt burner and then we have a vase which is from Tesco's. It's a gorgeous iridescent vase. Flowers from the range. This is from Home Bargains. We've got some marshmallows in there and they've got a lovely big mirror which is also from the range. That mirror was just £25 and I just love this whole look of the hallway. It's quite simple. This little unit here is from Ikea and it was about 70, 80 pounds. Then as we go up here, we've got a lovely light. It's like a chandelier light. This was from the range and I believe it was about 22, 23 pounds. So nothing too extravagant. And I went with a gray light. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of woven gray, but I just feel like it ties the area nicely together. And I wanted this space to be quite simple, but I'm extremely happy with my new prints here because I just feel like they add something to the hallway space. Let me show you from this direction too what it looks like. So yeah, there's my hallway. So nothing too crazy, but I feel like with the prints now, it's absolutely perfect. So what should we show you next? Should we show you my bedroom or the living room? Hmm. Let's show you my bedroom next. My mum is in here. So mother, would you like to evacuate the room, please? So walking into my bedroom. Now my bedroom is a room that I'm definitely not 100% happy with. It's definitely a room that I would change, but I'm just not sure what I want to do with it. So I've kind of left it quite similar to my last home tour. So sorry, it's not massively different. So here's my bed. I did get asked a lot of questions about my bed last time, but unfortunately I don't recommend the brand. So I'm not gonna say where that bed's from. The cushions are from B&M and then these little cushions are from Matalan and the bedding is from Matalan as well. I absolutely love the ruched bedding. I just think it looks so pretty. You can see over there in my pajamas, but yeah. So next to my bed, I've gone for the whole two mirrors and lamps. Actually, let's, should we put the lamps on? Okay, so here's what the bedroom looks like with the two lamps on. So as you can see, I've got two units either side. These are from Ikea. On these, I just changed the handles and put lovely little crystal handles on there and they were from Home Bargains. So on this side, we've got my notepad. I jot video ideas down in here and then we've just got my moisturizer. I was gonna put it away for the video, but I wanted to keep this really real because I do use that literally every day, multiple times. So I just left it there. And then on this side, we've got again a typical evening for me, which is my MacBook because I'm always editing and checking that before bed. And then we've got my perfumes here, my top perfumes that I like to use. So these are from Dunham. They're about 44 pounds, really expensive actually in my opinion. And then we've got my little childhood teddy bear here called Chocolate Bear. And then we spin it around to this side of the room. So we've actually got two more prints here from Desenio. I did have a third one up, but it fell down. I used the, what are they called? Command strips. And after about six months of it being up, it decided to fall down literally a week ago, just before to film this video, which is so annoying. But as you can see, I love Desenio so much. I've got another two prints there. And then here's my lovely lampshade, which is from the range. And that was about 22 pounds. So this space here is the space I'm just not that happy about. So this mirror here is from Ikea. And it's a really nice big mirror at 80 pounds and then we've got the mom dressing unit over here i've just got all of my products that i use on the daily a little ikea chair that's my stuff that just needs sorting as is that little piles of stuff to sort as you can see this space is just a little bit messy it's not how i would want it to be it's just it's it needs doing basically so then my bedroom from this side has a really big mirrored wardrobe here well i say really big it's actually not big at all but yeah, it's just an okay size mirror wardrobe. And then this is what the room looks like. So we've got nice big floor to ceiling windows. I absolutely love them so, so much. They bring in such a lot of light into the room. And I feel like, yeah, this is quite a big bedroom really. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, as I say, that space needs sorting out. Let's move into the living room and then we can do the bathroom last. Okay, so here is my living room space. So I have got a living, dining, kitchen, all in one. To start with my TV, 
glorious TV on the wall. A little bit too high up in my opinion, but it's all right. We have then got some lampshades from the range. So another thing I have in my living room is this really big cheese plant. I've had this now for a year and it's definitely grown a lot since the last home tour if you watch that one. And then down here, I then have a little throw which is from the range. It was about 30 pounds, I believe. And this is just covering a stool which is also from the range. I'm not sure why I'm covering this stool because it's actually really pretty, but I just put it there one day for a change. I quite like the look of it. So I've just left it like that for now. And then I've just got some B&M curtains, nothing special. I got them when I first got the place. And then we've got my sofa, which is from DFS. This is the Freya sofa, and it's really, really comfortable. I highly recommend it. I would purchase it a million times over. Literally, it's the most recommended sofa I can give you because it feels really nice as well. It's a really lovely fabric. And then all the cushions are just from Matalan, Tesco's, Primark, B&M, Matalan again. Then I've got a little lac table from Ikea, which is the gloss one. I love it. We've got my glossy box, boxes underneath. We've got a range rug, which is a little bit worse for wear. That needs either cleaning up or I need to get a new one. And then we've also got a nice little rug here, which is from eBay. Didn't come prepared. That needed flattening out a little bit. But yeah, so that's my little living space. And then here we've got a little puff, which is from... TK Maxx and then we've got another little rug here which is from Ikea and then my bag which I love so much so this is what it looks like from far away and then here we've got my dining space which is really cute and I'll be honest it doesn't get used that often so here's the mirror which is from B&M and that was just £25 such a bargain and then the table is from Ikea this actually extends out which is fabulous then I've just got some really fancy bits just to make it look pretty obviously these don't get used so they are literally just for display but I've got some really nice plates from Next and then Matalan placemats and then we've got my favourite ever candles the Peony candles from Primark you need to try them if you haven't already they smell amazing then we've got some flowers from Matalan as well then we just got more cushions than any girl could ever need, but that's just me. And then we've also got some nice chairs, which are from HomeSense, and they were £80 each. The bin, I need to sort that bin out because it needs to close properly. This little bin is from Ikea. It is cute. You know, it works in a flat, but unfortunately it doesn't fit enough stuff in there, so I don't recommend it. So this is my little kitchen space. I say little, it's actually a really big kitchen considering this is an apartment. I'm actually so happy with this kitchen. It's really, really big. It's bigger than a lot of kitchens I've seen in actual houses. So yes, I'm very happy with it. So much storage. So with my kitchen over here, we start with some flowers. These flowers are from Home Bargains. The tray is from Wilco. These are from The Range. Ikea, Matalan. Not sure, I think that was a gift. That's from Home Sense. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got a Breville kettle and toaster. And then I've just got some cute little things like candles on the side, Boo Avenue, and then an Ikea one got more candles on the side and flowers and all of that just to be pretty have to show you my glorious cupboard in the kitchen my pink cupboard look look at all those beauties pink everything because who doesn't like a bit of pink I also am quite happy with my little cupboard of like actually that cupboard needs sorting but I've got some really cute little cups and mugs and all of that and another thing I absolutely love about this house is look at this I love this pull-out cupboard. So again, it needs organizing, but I keep my seasonings and my cake stuff. I mean, look how much cake stuff I have. So that's my living space. And then now let's go into the bathroom. So here is my bathroom. So it's not the biggest bathroom in the world, but I'm still really happy with it. So we've got lovely little spotlights in the bathroom and then gray tiles. And my favorite thing about this bathroom is probably my little tray here, which is from Dunelm. It was 10 pounds and I always get asked about it. I just think it makes the bath. I think it looks really cute. I've got some flowers here from the range. And then again, I've got my lovely peony candle burning. Yes, shamefully, I have conditioner left in the bath, which I have not picked out. I do apologize. That's rather poor of me and unprofessional. We then have a Matalan rug. You're not going to see how beautiful this is, but it's shimmery. It's pink and glitter, but it just doesn't show in this light, unfortunately. I did film a little bit too late in the day because the best of the daylight is now gone. So here's my little sink, and then I've got a Boo Avenue candle there. I've got a lovely soap dispenser which is from Dunelm. That one's quite expensive actually, it was about £15. And then on here we've got my mouthwash which, you know, again, I was going to move it but I thought it's real life so let's just keep it there. We've got some flowers here from the range. This is from Home Sense. This is from Ikea and this is from Matalan. And then onto my toilet, I have some Boo Avenue white chiffon spray and then a little Ted Baker spray too and then a little Ikea candle. And then the mirror that I have in here is also from B&M, and this was again about 25, 30 pounds. And then on my towel rail, I just have this cute little towel, which is from B&M, and I think that was about five pounds. And then obviously the lovely pictures that I showed you guys earlier. In my bathroom, I also have this, which is just a nice little basket from Matalan, and then I've just got some little face cloths in here. When I can be bothered, I put this on the toilet. 
with a towel underneath to look pretty but it's not realistic so it often just gets put down there but yeah that is my bathroom if you guys are wondering the flooring is lino in the bathroom and the flooring throughout the rest of the house is actually laminate I'm not sure on the exact colours, unfortunately, but they are from UK Flooring Direct, and I got a really good deal when I got the place. I think it cost me around 2000 to do all the flooring, including the laying costs and stuff. So, yeah, that is my little bathroom. Also, my bin is from B&M, and that was also £5. So that is the end of my home tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. As I said throughout the video, there are some bits that I would change, such as my bedroom. I'm not quite there yet. Do bear with me. I'm sure I will do another home tour once it's changed again and show you the updates. But until then, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope I gave you some interior inspo ideas. And until next time, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you then. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,